हाई फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट कपल ऑफ इम्पोर्टेंट एस एस आर एस इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन अलॉन्ग विथ आंसर्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी कवरिंग अ कपल ऑफ क्वेश्चन एंड प्लीज चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दिस वीडियो फॉर मोर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन ऑन एस क्यू एल सर्वर एम एस बी आई एंड पावर बी आई एंड एजोर सो आई विल बी कवरिंग A couple of questions in the further videos as well. Please subscribe for more technology videos. Let's move on to the questions. So the first question, which is asked by the panel in the interview, is what are the advantages of SSRS? Why we need to use SSRS? Why only SSRS? so if you understand the really the advantages of ssrs it is very cheaper and it's a faster so when i say faster it purely depends on the system configuration obviously yes it is cheaper and there is no data latency in the ssrs it directly hits the database and it shows every time fresh data you do not see the data latency in the ssrs until and unless if you enable snapshots so if you enable snapshot you might be seeing little data latency but as yes, it depends on report to report and it is very easy to learn it is a developer friendly language if you know visual studio it's little more easy to develop to manage the ssrs reports and the security also it is managed with the help of the role based it's a role based mechanism here and here you can generate parameterized reports as well user can provide the input based on the input my report will be generated and i have by default print facility and i have export facility i can export my report into pdf microsoft excel microsoft word html and other format it's a default facility if you really go to some other tools power bi or some other uh, uh, visualization tools you need to do something more to export by default but ssrs having a by default print facility as well as export to pdf or export to word export to excel export to html you have a default facility on the whole let me repeat it is cheaper it is faster provided sufficient server configuration and there is no data latency if you do not use a snapshots and it's a very easy to learn and very easy to create and very easy to manage it is integrated with visual studio dot net if you really know little dot net then it's a very easy to manage many easy to create very easy to deploy and it's a role based security mechanism by default is implemented and you can define the parameters as well in the ssrs report so once you define it will come in the ui and the user can provide a specific values to those input parameters and based on the input parameters so report will be generated for the users so once the report is generated he can print the report and he can export into any format and yes here i can control the print icons and i can control the export icons so based on the requirement if the user asks to remove the print icon i can remove it if the user asks to remove the export icons i can do that so once we remove it it automatically removes for all the reports those icons at the server level not controlled at the report level so these are the advantages of the ssrs the next one is why report server and report server tempdb databases created created when we install ssrs yes 
to manage with SSRS, I might need two databases. The default databases are report server and report server tempdb. So the report server is a database which contains the user information, roles information and reports information. And when we go to the report server tempdb, this tempdb is the one which helps me to improve the performance of the report. So when I say it contains temporary data, sessions information and cached reports and all. The report server tempdb is the one which helps the performance of the report. So when I restart my report server, my report server tempdb will automatically restart it and it will be remove the cached information. So that is the purpose of report server and report server tempdb. So by default, when we install the SSRS, you will get two databases. One is the report server and report server tempdb. So can I connect to a different database other than report server and report server tempdb? Yes, you can do that. So but you need to manage the same structure how the report server and report server tempdb. In the report services configuration, you have a facility to connect to the different databases. So that is nothing but why report server and report server tempdb is required when we install SSRS or why we need it. The next question is, can I use a stored procedure in SSRS to generate a report? Yes, I can use it. When I install SSRS, it means that I can connect to the SSRS with the help of the SQL queries or with the help of the stored procedures. And by using the stored procedure is only the best mechanism to generate a report in the SSRS reports because stored procedure is a pre-compiled and efficient way in generating a report. Obviously, yes, I can use a stored procedure in generating a SSRS report. Even my stored procedure are going to accept input and output parameters here. Here I can go with input parameters. So maybe output par parameters we may need to check, but a stored procedure accepts input parameters from the report and it generates a report based on the user inputs. The next question is, can I write a .NET code directly in SSRS report? Yes, you can write it. So if you go to the report body, there is a place where you can directly write a .NET code. That is a custom code is there. In the custom code, you can write a vb.net code directly and you need to follow vb.net uh, syntaxes to write the code. And that code you can call in the SSRS report items with the help of the code dot, the name of the method in the vb.net. So you can directly write .net code in the SSRS report or also you can also you can inherit the DLLs which is generated by using .NET projects. Someone has generated a .NET a DLL from a .NET project. You can use that DLL in the SSRS project and you can call that in the SSRS report. So by using a uh, like a spe specific method names and class names. On the whole, I can directly write a .NET code in the SSRS report or I can refer the DLL in the SSRS report. So that's how you need to manage the .NET code in the SSRS report. The next one is, so have you used report builder? And what is the SQL Server report builder? See, it depends like it. Most of the times, so our business people might be using. As a developer, you may not be using the report builder. But as yes, like you might need to set up a little environment for them to use a report builder. So report builder is a business users interface which will help the business users to design ad hoc reports and that allows user to design reports based on the business requirements. So you will be providing a data set and you will be deploying the data set in the report server. So by using the report uh, server data set, he can design on his own ad hoc report based on the business requirements. But yes, here he need to have a data set privileges. 
if the business user knows about a rdbms technology he can directly write a query but if the if the data set is already been deployed he can directly use it but most of the business users will use a data deployed data sets only on the whole so report builder is a business user interface which helps to design the ad hoc reports based on the business requirements and he may not be knowing much about sql or the data source languages he can directly use the data set to design his own report so that's it about a report builder in the ssrs so that those are all the list of questions asked by the recent um, a panel so for some of the other questions please check the report description so report description contains a couple of more interview questions that's it about a ssrs interview questions with answers please subscribe for more technical interview questions and answers please provide your valuable feedback in the youtube comment section and if you have any questions on sql msbi or power bi please write a mail to training to sql at the rate gmail.com please subscribe for more technical videos thank you